If I have to bake a final lasagna or spaghetti to finish up phase four, then so be it. Believe it or not, this is actually the most ecologically safe and effective way. Look at that boy. What a unique shape. Why are there so many? These nasty son of a bitches are probably responsible for my first gray hairs. Oh, fucking dynamite. Well, hello, hello again, little gamers and gamettes. It's me, and we are back at the factory. The satisfying factory. I've been enjoying seeing all my trains busy like bees. In today's episode, we're finally going to start tackling Phase 4. Yes, that's right. It's currently the final objective in the game, but... But if you're watching this video, then you probably know that they've just announced some upcoming changes in the final release of a game slated to come out this year, of course. Yeah, that does mean, unfortunately, Little Bean, that we are going to have to probably make a new world. And, you know, that's fine. I kind of expected that, but grown a little bit of attached to uh, the growing metropolis here but that's okay we're, we're almost to the finish line so you know what today I just decided fuck it we'll do it for Gerald we're gonna we're gonna do phase four man and if I have to embrace all the chaos to get there I will do so so here at the advanced manufacturing building of course I've done something with my supercomputers finally because, as it turns out, I still had extra circuit boards, extra computers, extra frames, and so I just went ahead and combined all those things to make. Da 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 da! Oh, not the, not here. Uh, where is it? Here! Haha! -ha. Adaptive control units, and finally, assembly director systems. These nasty son of a bitches are probably responsible for my first gray hairs. But we've got at least 50 already, and they're still being pumped in. As you can see, here come the supercomputers. Up here is where the ACUs are being made. First, we need to make the automated wiring. So I'm using our cable from the cable factory, stators from the stator factory. If you haven't been watching the series, I make stators over there and cables over there in that like big old long building. Everything's transported by train, and uh, yeah. This thing right here is making the ACUs, which are going to our first component of Phase 4. So yeah, it's only, you know, maybe one or two per minute, but still. Uh, since I'm going to be busy working on the rest of the components for a little while, this thing's just going to be running. And when we come back, you know, we'll have 4,000 before we even know it. As I was saying, 1.0 will break my factories in all likelihood, so I consider that a challenge to complete the current game as it is before 1.0 comes out. If I have to bake a fine lasagna or spaghetti to finish up phase four, then so be it. We'll do it. We'll do it together and welcome this new age that is coming by the end of this year. One thing I've been working on is expanding my train lines and uh, as you can see, Got a pretty complete map going here. Yep, I've spent so much time building these train tracks around the world. There's essentially two big loops. And there's tracks that go down the middle of the world, tracks at the top, and tracks at the south. Of course, I've been working on a new factory building over here. You might notice that it looks less like a factory and more like the obelisk from 2001 A Space Odyssey. However, looks may be deceiving because this, my friends, is a ripe factory ground. Let me show you. Oh uh, yeah, well, now would you look at that? Weird graphical issues aside, this is a lot of space for building. And it's only one of many floors. You see, I have to pull out the whole arsenal for completing phase four because this is what we're up against. Magnetic field generators. So yeah guys, even though we're going to have to say goodbye to this whole world and start fresh and new, you know, that's fine. Th you know, that's really just what life's about. It's like, you never know when it's going to be over. Everything beautiful in life is but a fleeting instance of joy, 
soon to be corrupted and exposed to the elements for it is rot and like a diseased fruit falls off the vine. So yeah guys, kick back, grab some popcorn and please enjoy this very satisfactory building video that will not be chaotic. Why are there so many? It's just another part of life, you know. Sometimes there are obstacles in your way and those obstacles kick you in the fucking nuts and spit in your face, steal your lunch money and kiss your girlfriend. And no, sometimes nothing will make you feel better because there is nothing that can make you feel better. Anyway guys, I hope you super like and enjoy this uh, very peaceful, calming, satisfactory adventure. Now before I finish laying down this pipeline through this natural area, I want to make sure I do this right. Believe it or not, this is actually the most ecologically safe and effective way to clear space for your pipeline. So I've decided to tackle the next thing in the list, which is the magnetic field generator. And uh, it doesn't look too tough, but we are going to need some good old fashioned all American oil crude oil in it well guys I hate to let you know but they are coming that's right I keep hearing them in the walls now I swear I see look at my hands is that is it moving for you guys sorry I don't I don't know I feel like I've, I've been holding my breath so that I can avoid breathing into the mic but now it's making me lightheaded and I can't think straight that could also be from the drugs, though. Why are there so many bastards here? Oh god. Okay, they might have uh, overdone it a little bit with the amount of uh, radioactive giant hogs. I'm literally just trying to get to this bauxite node. Oh god, thank you. Hello guys, welcome back. Hope you're all doing well today. This is the Opportunity Super Factory, which is just sort of rising out of the ground like a graphical error. Looks like a freaking big old money mega church, a real biblical sized factory. But yeah, I've been hard at work working on the next product, which is the magnetic field generators. And as you can see, just from a brief glance down here, I've made quite a lot of buildings. So this is some sped up footage of me building the factory. I just had to basically turn my microphone off and put on some tunes and just enter that Gooner flow state to accomplish this because man, uh, building a, a phase four factory from scratch, this is the easiest product to do it for, but it's still a doozy. But yeah, like a real 21st century man, I used AI to decide my fate and just went on satisfactory tools and um, made a factory diagram there and basically followed that, although I didn't follow it exactly as you'll see. Mainly because uh, the AI wants you to do the most efficient recipe, which isn't always necessarily the easiest because Sometimes it just ends up making a nasty old spider web. It's like Spider-Man just busted a fat nut on the page and uh, it's just totally undoable. So at first I started working, trying to work from the bottom up, from the raw resources to the products, but that just was way too confusing. So I went back and uh, I started with the final product, the magnetic field generators, and worked my way backwards. Now the only thing I'm bringing in from the outside for this factory is the modular frames from my frame factory that I made in an earlier episode. It produces 20 fr modular frames per minute. Of course I think I only need about 10. But yeah guys, this is the big moment that I wanted to share with y'all to activate the magnetic field generator factory. Let's go ahead and pull the lever. Okay. Max consumption jumps up, but not that bad, honestly. So it's going to take a very long time uh, to actually produce our first magnetic field generators. But look, the resources are all flowing. Look at that, that's beautiful. You can see, oh, we're already getting some copper ingots. So yeah, while all these machine belts start filling up, uh, let me give you a brief tour. 
Uh, this is, yeah, this is some meaty lasagna. It's the real authentic kind. Uh, I cooked it up today. Well, mostly yesterday, I guess. Yeah, over there is for oil products, and the oil is being processed here into rubber and plastic with these refineries. We're also making petroleum coke, which helps in the process of making aluminum scrap, which is smelted into aluminum for Alcad ingots. Of course, we have refineries here making the wet iron or pure iron ingot recipe, which again is something that I wouldn't have used back in the day, but it's actually highly efficient as you can see. Well, most of that iron there is being processed in iron wire, which is being put into stators. We have caterium here being turned into quick wire. The quick wire goes in with copper sheets to make AI limiters. Stators and AI limiters make our electromagnetic control rods. Yeah, it, it's chaotic a little bit, but honestly, this is more in line with how I used to build my old factories. Actually, it's even neater, let's let's just say that. Because even though this looks disgusting, it's at least on one plane. And, uh, you know, there's room between building sets. But yeah, over here we're actually making batteries. This is what the Alclad are for. And then some of that petroleum coke and iron is also made into steel for steel beams and steel pipes. And then a bunch of products get shipped up here to the next floor and this one's pretty empty but it's just consisting of the final two steps of production oh this one's already going these are producing our versatile frameworks and then finally the versatile frameworks mix with the electromagnetic control rods from below and the batteries from below to make our field generators okay oh god guys batteries are already coming that's our force our first four batteries right there so I'm just gonna sit here and hope that I wired everything correctly and wait for our very first magnetic field generator the part two of phase four no nah. yes it's here oh my gosh magnetic field generator look at that boy look at that boy what a unique shape. I'd just like to thank, take a moment to thank the Academy. My mother, excuse me, sir. But yeah, guys, I know this isn't exactly the highly decorated five-star factory experience that I like to build. There's no gold toilets equipped with bidets that shoot wine up your ass. Instead, it's just kind of more like you stepped into a back alley in a Eastern European country and you're about to get shanked but you know what it's pretty organized it's pretty functional I'll take it you know and just like that that's another phase four component essentially done and done and once that factory is all up and running it should be making eight of these per minute so eventually I think We'll probably actually finish these before we finish the assembly director systems. Why don't we actually go ahead and check on that? See how many I got by now. Okay. Alright, that's not bad. Uh, 270. Could be better, but you know what? It's fine. Alright, gamers and gamets. I just woke up and it's time for me to go get some breakfast. But halfway done with phase 4 is pretty good, I would say. I just went ahead and built this little skate park for myself. Ooh, hit a sick jump. Hang on, let me build up a little speed. Oh, fucking dynamite. Let me see if I can get the actual quarter pipe jump. No! Ugh! Hang on, I just had the idea to grind, try to grind on the railing. This would be so cool if it was possible. Here we go, here we go. Oh! Oh, I missed. Okay. Oh, uh, yes! Ah, uh, the sickest trick with factory cart you've ever seen. I'm a gamer. And I'll see you, gamers, in the next one. Where we may actually finish phase four.